Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we learned about uh, Charles Backman's uh, Navigation or Database Management System. And uh, this is a summarization of what we learned last time. His approach was to store in a, in a linked up data set, uh, which forms a huge network of data. And whenever the database open, uh, the database management system software gets a pointer to the first record and other link pointers and two databases came up with that one is called IDS and another called I IMS by IBM and here are the pain points of a navigational database management system it's difficult if I want to know how do I find how many people are in India or how there's no capability to search so that was from 1960 to 1970 so to do that to basically you know to enhance that research what I was started by Charles Backman it's another guy called Edward Ted Cod, or famously known as Cod. So he started a research on while he was working at IBM. Okay, and uh, you know finally his lot of papers uh, you know he published, and then the final paper and all those things culminated with a paper called a Relational Model of Data for Large Data Banks. Okay, so this is the final paper that culminated with, with a lot of works done by. God and his, his his previous pioneers in the database management system, and this is probably the one that changed the database management system. So, so let's basically uh, take an example and see what God did and how God thinks a little bit different than whatever Backman was uh, published. Okay, so the thing is that let's take an example. Like you know, generally that we store in database management system uh, information about a user. Okay, so let's say this is an user, and this user has a first name and has a last name. Say so has an ID, has a telephone number, and let's say an address, and a lot more. Okay, so now what are you going to do? We are going to uh, describe. So this is Backman, Backman, and this is God. So as per Backman, what are you going to store? We are going to store this is in a linked list. So that means what you are doing, you are showing that first name. Let's say first name is X, last name is Y, ID is one, telephone number is hundred. So this is one record. And then another record, let's say name is A. There is no last name, therefore an empty space will be there. Then let's say ID is two, and there is no telephone number. So that then there's an empty space here. And uh, let's say another is C, D, and then ID is say 10, and telephone number is something say 100. So as per the backman, these are all connected in a linked list. And whenever we start the database, we start from here. Okay. But what God did, God said that, let's do this thing. The first name, last name, ID may be always available. Okay, then store that one separately. So this is the first name, last name, ID, and then this telephone ad telephone number and address may be there, may not be there. So what he did is he created something like a two-dimensional array structure, and that is he called a table. So table is a place where we store this X y1 a then let's say b2 and then c d 10 and then we have another table where you store about the telephone information telephone information so how do you store we connect these two tables by something which is common that is id okay so that is called a key okay so we connect these two things by a key See, in, in Backman's thing, we are connecting by a pointer, but here we are connecting by a key, and then we are giving the telephone number, okay? So this is the fundamental things that is a differential between the navigational database management system, and this is what called called relational database management system, okay? Or RDBMS, okay? And then, God proposed in another set of language. That language is something like a set kind of language. Okay? And this is set oriented language to manipulate, to retrieve information from these kind of tables. 
okay and that set oriented language later become what we ubiquitously known as sql or structured query language okay so i hope you understand the difference between the navigational approach and the relational approach and in the next set of videos we are going to do a little bit more about what we are at this point thank you